Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Uh, we're taking a look today at a Four Winds Horizon 180 LS Bow Rider. It's an 18 foot bow rider. It was built in 1999. It's got a Volvo Penta 4.3 GL stern drive making 190 horsepower. The boat is in fantastic condition for its age. Upholstery and everything is perfect. It's running uh, extremely well. Um, it's on a galvanized road trailer and uh, good service history with the boat and it's, uh, it's ready to go for the season. It's a fantastic value package, really spacious by rider uh, and it's perfect for a bit of water sports fun and general day cruising. The, the condition of the exterior and the gel coat in this boat is, is top notch. It really is. This boat looks like it's about three or four years old. Um, the gel coat's great. There's apart from a couple of little sort of scuffs in the sticker and a couple of small scuffs on the navy uh, down towards the back. There's absolutely no other marks uh, on the boat, on the exterior of the boat at all. Um, all the deck hardware, cleats, rails, the windscreen, everything's nice and solid and secure. Um, and there's no, no real sign of tarnishing, everything's in good condition. The first thing that strikes you whenever you, you take a look at this boat from the stern is, uh, is the width. For an 18 foot boat, it's got an 8 foot beam which uh, definitely puts it in the, amongst the, the wider end of the market. So it means you get a lot of room on board. Uh, it's got an integrated swim platform across the back with uh, 12 inches deep or so. We've got a folding uh, three-step boarding ladder on the starboard side. Uh, and you'll see as well, we've got a, a Volvo SX stern drive, which is maxed up to the 190 horsepower 4.3 liter V6 engine. This, the drive is in very good condition. The boat has never been kept in the water. It's always been kept on a trailer and launched and recovered every time it's been used. So no antifoil in the hull. The drive looks in perfect nick. The prop could do with a little bit of a recondition. The was obviously caught it on something at some stage. Uh, but apart from that, everything looks good. All the seals are dry, the rams and everything. It doesn't look like there's any leaks or, or anything uh, on toward. The rubber hoses are in good nick and the bellows are in good condition as well. So um, absolutely nothing to worry about on the stern, right? Coming on board from the stern, First thing we've got is a full width sun pad um, that extends across the full width of the boat. And we've got a similar full width uh, bench seat across the back that will easily accommodate four adults uh, on there. In front of that we've got individual uh, helm and passenger seats uh, and obviously the walk through up into the body here. There's loads of room in here. Um, the, the helm and passenger seats swivel around so you can sit and face the rear bench so it's a nice sociable layout uh, and there's, there's bags of room. You really notice the, the extra beam up here. Um, on a boat of this size, the space is fantastic. Condition wise, it's excellent. Uh, again, it doesn't show its age at all. The upholstery is all in perfect nick. There's no separate, separation of any sticks in, no tears or anything that I could find. Um, and the boat has a, a fitted carpet, which again is in good condition. Below that, fiberglass liner, so the boat's nice and easy to keep clean. You can take the cartridge out to clean them, you can hose the boat down, um, and it means it's uh, low maintenance. We've got bags of storage in this boat as well. Um, we've got a couple of boxes either side of the uh, either side of the engine bay. Um, we've also then got a nice big locker underneath the rear bench seat. That's subdivided again so you can keep your gear neat and tidy, it means things won't be running around. We've got dedicated storage for the for the anchor pole light in there also. We've got lots of cubby holes in the gunnels on either side, again making use of the, the wide beam, so uh, that incorporates a couple of cup holders in there as well. Uh, and then we've got a, a nice big locker in the floor of the boat. So the wide beam again means that we've got a nice wide bow area. Uh, we've got a wide walk through into it and there's enough seating up here for, uh, for two people. We've got storage underneath all the seats. It's handy that these seats are, are on hinges so you don't have to worry about lifting them and putting them somewhere out of the way whenever you're accessing the lockers. And we've got a dedicated anchor locker here as well. There is an anchor going with the boat. Uh, we just have it out to get the boat uh, valid for sale. This boat also has uh, four winds factory supplied filler cushions that just slot in very easily and make the bow area into a full size sun pad. 
helm position of this boat is really good. Um, it has a, a VDO complete dash module unit, um, which four winds were putting in these boats uh, back at the, the end of the 90s. And it, they had a good reputation for, for working and continuing to work, and pretty much all the gauges, as far as I can tell, are, are working on this one. Um, I think we might have a trim gauge uh, issue, probably the sender, but the actual dash itself is all working, which is good. That's the oil pressure alarm working there also. Uh, that goes off whenever you start the engine. So they're all nice and easy to read. Um, we've also got our switch gear for controlling the blower motor, bilge pump, nav lights, uh, courtesy lights in the horn. Easily to fall and easily to hand here. Uh, and the throttle lever, conveniently located. And we've also got an armrest here as well, so it means that uh, it just makes it a bit more comfortable. The seats, the helm seats are really good. They give good lateral support. Uh, they're well bolstered and it slides fore and aft so you can make sure you get a nice comfortable driving position. Whenever I'm sitting in the seat I can see clearly through the screen, um, which is good. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's all in very good order. All the switch gears working, um, the, the leather wrap steering wheel is in good condition. Over on the passenger side then we've got another little bit of storage here uh, with a, a bailing uh, locker. So you can use that as an ice box. And we've got a little lock and glove box as well so you can keep your valuables in out of the way. Another nice feature are the courtesy lights on board. Um, so we've just got three little courtesy lights dotted throughout the cockpit and it uh, gives the boat uh, a nice atmosphere after dark. Engine access is convenient as well. Uh, we don't have to move any seats out of the way, we just lift, lift up the forward half of the sun pad. It gives us access to the front of the engine, we can get access to the dipstick, um, fuel filter, all those check out the belts and things. Uh, and with a foam section behind here, gives us access down into the for the, the rear part of the engine also. It's a Volvo Penta 4.3 GL. It's a V6 motor, it's 190 horsepower. It's, a, it's running in fantastic condition. Um, it, we literally just came out of winter storage and it started up with the first turn of the key. And it has been fastidiously maintained by the current owner. It's been serviced every year. He has records to show that. Um, and it's, uh, it, you can tell, I mean, it, it, it runs really good. We'll put it in the water and you can see, uh, see for yourself. But Suffice to say, this boat's in, in very good mechanical condition. The oil, I checked it myself, it's, uh, it looks like brand new, so that's a good sign as well, it means that the, the owner's been taking care of the boat. Suffice it to say, it's got everything you need, um, everything you'd want in a boat this size, uh, in terms of 
Boat's in really good condition, both cosmetically and mechanically. The trailer's in good order. It's got all the covers and it's running really well. Um, and it's, uh, it packs lots of space in the, in the 18 foot package, which is easy to look after, easy to store, easy to maintain. Uh, and this, uh, this will make a fantastic sports boat for somebody for this summer. If you want any more information or you want to raise come and have a look at the boat, please don't hesitate to, to give us a call or drop us an email. Thanks for watching.